Hi guys, Laurelyn here again and today we are going to review one of the most anticipated game of this year, the Titanfall. I'm going to review this game using NVIDIA graphics card, the Zotac GTX 780 Overclocked Edition. So yes, I will be showcasing some NVIDIA's exclusive features as well. If you missed the unboxing video, just click the annotation above or read the description for more info. And thanks to Marvin for giving me a free copy of Titanfall. So without further ado, let's jump into the Titanfall. In the past few years, we had a lot of first-person shooting games that is similar to one another. But this game offers a whole new experience. Unlike any other FPS, Titanfall is focused on its amazing multiplayer, and it also offers a training so if you're new to FPS game, then you may want to try the training mode so you can be familiar to the game. Wall runs can be chained together to travel farther. Try jumping from one wall run directly into another. The game graphics is good, but not as good as the other modern FPS games. The game design, however, is amazing, especially the titans and the animations. The main campaign is fun to play through, and playing it gives you a lot of time to learn the advantages and the disadvantages of being a pilot and titan, which you can apply in multiplayer combat. And also, playing through the campaign will give you an access to other titan which you can use in multiplayer game. Now let's talk about the multiplayer. In multiplayer, we have four modes, the Attrition, Hardpoint, Last Titan Standing, and Variety Pack. Attrition is the classic team that match. The goal here is to get more kills. Points are awarded by killing both minions and pilots. The first team to get 300 points wins the match. This match ends with an epilogue, limiting every player to one life where the winning team is tasked eliminating any enemies retreating to dropship. Destroying the dropship will give you more points. Then we have the hard point, also known as domination. The objective here is to fight over 3 neutral points on the map. The more hard points held, the faster the team will win. Okay, I'm in. Stay close to the terminal. We got Bravo! Last Titan Standing is where you start as a Titan and your objective is to destroy all enemies Titan in order to win. Not necessarily all the pilots. Just because your Titan is destroyed doesn't mean you can keep fighting. You can still play as pilot and destroy the enemy's Titan but make sure that there is still at least one Titan remaining in your team. Damage core activated. Okay, they have one Titan left and they're on their own. Even though the maximum player per team is only 6 and the map is kind of huge, I still find it fun to play. Because it is filled with minions so you always have something to kill, something to dodge, and something to hack. Yes, you can hack enemy synthetic units and turn it against them. Okay, your time is pressed on. Call it when ready. Minions are the NPC or the AI. They will keep the action flowing. Unlike any other games, this game doesn't have a kill streak. Yes, you don't need a kill streak to summon your Titan. Everybody will get their Titan in just a matter of time. There are 
also some ways to shorten the timer, like getting more kills and using the burn cards, which will give you a huge advantage. Now, let's talk about the burn card. The burn card is used to buff your character. They are extremely powerful and useful, but you're only allowed to use them once per match or until you die. Once you call your titan, it's either you leave it automatic and fight beside you or control it manually. Personally, I prefer automatic mode while I am out getting more points in order to win. As you can see here, my automatic titan is fighting another titan with a player controlling it. And I am here destroying the enemy's titan by riding at the back and exposing vulnerable spot. So that's a good teamer. Playing as a titan is a lot of fun. It gives you a lot of advantage against all enemy infantry. Basically, you are the tank in the killing machine. You can kill every infantry easily. Vortex Shield is one of my favorite titan perks. It is the ability to block enemy fire such as rockets and bullets and sending the projectiles back to them. And also, Nuke Ejection. Nuke Ejection is useful to eliminate all the enemy around your titan upon exploding. Warning. Severe reactor damage sustained. Yes, just like that. And playing as a pilot gives you a lot of mobility options, being able to wall run, double jump, cloak, and all that good stuff. So as you can see guys, the gameplay is so intense and fun and very different to other FPS games. Another cool thing about the game is the mobility and the game design. It's amazing and super fun and I definitely recommend this to everyone. So if you want an FPS game where you can double jump, wall run, cloak, play with AI, futuristic setup, and gigantic robot combat, then Titanfall is the game for you. By the way guys, good news to people who owns NVIDIA graphics card because you can soon enjoy this game with NVIDIA's exclusive game features such as the XAA or Temporal Anti-Aliasing and Horizon-based Ambient Occlusion and of course, the physics. This exclusive technology allows you to experience a better and much beautiful game graphics. So stay tuned for the upcoming update. By the way guys, I recorded all the gameplay using NVIDIA Shadow Play. Again, for more info about my setup, kindly read the description. And if you have a question, just feel free to ask. Okay, so Shadow Play is another NVIDIA exclusive software and available only for people who own 600 series GPU and above. It supports Twitch livestream, it's using H.264 encoder, it records high-quality footage and the performance drop while recording is minimal compared to other recording softwares. As for the modes, it has three fully configurable modes. The first one is Shadow Mode, which will record the previous 20 minutes of your gameplay and saving a temporary file. This mode is useful if you want to highlight an impressive moment in your game. The other one is the Manual Mode, which allows you to record the entire footage with your desired settings. Then the last one is Twitch Streaming. This mode allows you to broadcast and do live streaming on Twitch. That's very handy because we usually see this feature on some expensive softwares. Another cool thing is it now supports full desktop capture and you can now record both in-game and voice audio. So you can broadcast your gameplay and commentary at the same time and a lot easier using only NVIDIA Shadow Play. Again, I recorded all the gameplay on this video using only Shadow Play, so make sure to switch the 1080p video quality so you can see how amazing the quality is. So download Shadow Play now if you're using NVIDIA 600 series graphics card and above. Now here is the benchmark using NVIDIA's latest driver compared to the previous drivers. As you can see guys, the difference is pretty amazing. So that's it guys, I hope you find this video useful and if you did, please destroy the like button and share it, it helps a lot. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in Doomsday!